Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, add a NAPE imagery from a server into QGIS. This is something you can do in ArcGIS, um, and you can also do it in QGIS. The first thing you're going to need to do is go to this REST services directory, which will allow you to access the place the data is served. It's at gis.apfo.usda.gov. And I'll try to remember to post this link in the description of the video and so you can access it from there. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose Idaho because this is where I am right now. Um, but this has a list of all these states uh, with the image servers. So I'm going to uh, choose Idaho. It's 2015 imagery. I'm going to click on that. And the thing I want is this WMS link right here. And so I'm just going to copy this link address. I'm going to go back over to QGIS. I'm going to click this button here, which is add a WMS layer. Um, so it turns out I already have this one added in. But let's edit it. So, NAPE, we'll just go through this whole thing again, just so you know. NAPE, Idaho, 21.5, and it's one meter. Um, I'm going to copy that leak address here. It doesn't require any authentication. Okay, so we're set there. And I'm going to click OK. And now I have it there. I'm going to click Connect. And now I have uh, this layer here. And I'm going to click Add. And then I can close. And you can see that, that I've added this imagery of Idaho in here. Now you notice it looks a little funky, it looks a little transparent. That's because it's displayed that way. So the, the NAPE imagery has four bands, red, green, blue, and near infrared. The way the, R, the way that QGIS is displaying this is that fourth band, the near infrared, is being used as an alpha or a transparency band. Um, and that's the way it comes in, and I have not figured out how to change that so that you only display three of those bands. If you figure that out, please leave a comment and let me know. Uh, I would love to know how to do that. Uh, anyway, for now, there's how you can get the imagery in, basically, and maybe you'll figure out a way to, to change the symbology of it. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.